Yaz here, and in today's video, I'm discussing my top tips for marathon tapering. Welcome back to the channel guys and if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe to my content and on to today's video. Today's video is about my top tips for marathon tapering. So firstly um, it's featuring Dino. Dino are you going to say hello? No? Hello to the camera? No? Dino? No? But it's featuring him. Oh you might have got a look. This time he's not hiding on my lap so he wanted to be in the video. Oh he's now hiding on my lap. He's got a bit shy. So, on to today's video, and it's my key tips regarding marathon training. So firstly, don't do anything new on race day. So, um, for example, I'm gonna use an example. My wife, when she was training for a marathon, for London marathon, she did the London big half, uh, half marathon, and, and when she finished, she said, oh, I had really bad stomach pains when I did the, um, did the run, I didn't, and I had to, st practically was walking at the end of the half marathon. So I said to her, what, 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 um, what have you taken? You, um, have you taken your normal gel? I said, oh, I left my gels at home, so I took some Lucasaid um, uh, tab tablets or gels, whatever they were. Um, I think they were Lucasaid tablets. Uh, no, sorry, uh, the packs, and um, that gave a stomach cramp. So don't do anything new. Trust what you've been using. Use your, your gels that you've been using, and um, if you know what uh, your marathon is um, having on course, then um, what gels they are or what, what they're providing, then make sure you practice with them. And my second tip is that um, make sure, you can say hello now. There he is, no. Um, my second tip, oh he's gone hiding now. Second tip is that um, you must, um, you, um, you need, if you need to practice with gels, practice with your gels and make sure you use them in the race, but make sure you, you practice them well in advance um, for the race and uh, so your body's got used to them so you don't have any stomach problems or, or, or feeling sick. Um, now my third tip is trust the process. Now you've trained for it, trust it. So um, stick to your plan um, and um, on race day, just try your best, just enjoy it. My next tip is don't, um, don't worry about catching up mileage if you've had any setbacks. So don't worry about catching up your mileage too much. So for example, if you've had to skip a long run for, for one long run because you've had a niggle, um, don't worry about it, don't think, well, I've skipped this run, um, I'll try and catch up the following week or catch up in a few days' time. Just, just let your body recover, because marathon training is stressful, so let your body recover, and then um, when you go into, um, so hopefully you'll be able to go into the marathon fire. A lot of people do get setbacks along the marathon training, and normally um, tapering is one of the key indicate, well, one of the key, um, key setbacks, because people do tend to pick up um, all sorts of niggles. So just bear that in mind and your, your body has been pounded for uh, quite a long time. So these are some of my um, key tips and most importantly is just enjoy it. Just enjoy the experience, enjoy the marathon. If it's your first one, good luck and um, enjoy it. Remember, um, you can always improve from your first one. So you'll remember your first one and then you can work and learn from what you've um, what, what you've learned from the race. So enjoy it. And if you're doing London Marathon, good luck. Or doing any, any other marathon, massive good luck. And thanks for watching, guys. And the uh, champions of the uh, this age group category, Henrietta Tarasevic, Emilianis Christodoulou, Christodoulou.